Hello and welcome to another week of NTV News. Regional Public Affairs Officer of the U.S. Embassy based in Fiji, Suva, Mr. Dmitry Chavosky and his team paid a visit to Nauru to introduce an American artist, Mr. Martin, who has been traveling around the world sharing his murals. For more on this special visit, Nauru Media caught up with the team who have been painting a fantastic mural at the, at the Antina store wall in Yaren District. It's something that we've done before. Uh, last year we had an um, uh, artist, um, Jesse Roberts, who came here for a um, similar art business entrepreneurship project. And we thought it was very productive, very effective, and we would like to continue this. In addition, um, I had um, very productive meetings yesterday at the Ministries of Foreign Affairs, Education, Media, and now uh, I see uh, many different opportunities that uh, are opening up for uh, our further engagement with the people and government of Nauru. So how do you find uh, doing the work here in Nauru? Uh, uh, introducing the artists to the community. How do you find the, uh, the work here? Yeah. Well, it's hard, but uh, I find that uh, uh, people support us tremendously. It's uh, something I couldn't even expect to that extent. Just look at this. Uh, they brought along this tent, without it it would be uh, very difficult to paint in this hot weather. And you see there are a lot of, a lot of young people who came to help out with this project and we expect more to come. So it means a lot to me that uh, it means that it's important, something important. And I hope that young people uh, here in Nauru will come to realize that there are many opportunities for their creativity to be explored, to capitalize on. My name is Philip Martin. I am an artist from Columbus, Ohio in the United States. And I love to paint murals. And the special thing about my murals is I paint with a community. I could come, I could paint it all by myself. I could say, here's your mural, thank you very much. But I find it much more rewarding if members of the community can come together share the experience, and then they have ownership. Long after I've left, they know they've painted the flower, they painted the shirt. It's their mural and not just mine. And this is mural 48 for me in 24 countries. So I've been very fortunate to travel the world and share my art with communities. Um, tell us, uh, what's the meaning of this mural here you're painting? Here? I did some research. I always want to make my mural specific for the location. So a mural in Nauru can't go to Fiji. I want it unique for Nauru. So I did some research. I found the traditional clothes that women wear. I have a map of the country. I, I read that you're very famous for growing coconuts, so I had to include them. Some of the favorite sports are your Australian rules football, which I know nothing about, and weightlifting. And then I found three symbols from your national crest. The secret that most people won't see, unless you tell them about it, is that it spells out Nauru. So you have a blue N, another A that's going to be sky blue, a sunset color U, a red R, and a yellow U. So when you come by, check out all the hidden details in it. Is there any other areas in Nauru you will be doing another painting? At the moment, I've got to say no, but I am really hopeful that I can come back. I've only been here two days and I love it. I haven't had coconut fish yet. I'll know I'll love the place even more after I have that. So is there anything you want to add? Anything I want to add? I just have to thank the people. I, as soon as I arrived, there were young people showing up. The very first kid I met bought me a drink of water. I felt welcomed as soon as I arrived, and I'm going to be feeling welcome the whole five days I'm here. And so I want to thank the people for their gracious welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure.